Hey guys, currently recording from the practice area. Let's see if I can show you guys a little bit what it looks like. You see, there's not really any players here at the moment. They're all upstairs watching the games and whatnot. You can see Dugao is over there. He is setting up for his match. That's where they play the, the match that is off stream. So, let's talk about yesterday. Right now, Doubt and Nico are playing. I think Doubt is up 1 0. So. Looking good for GL, but yesterday we had slam barrels, 2 zero for slam. Good for him. We need we need all GL members to still have a chance. Taro beat Ogawa as well, so it's looking good for him. A little bit of an upset, kind of. Veles Nikov, close match can go either way, but Veles was able to take that one. So and right now Nikov is down 1-0 to Doubt. Tournament is looking a bit harsh for him at the moment. Doubt and Jordan obviously played. It was a bittersweet. We all thought Doubt was kind of out after losing to uh, to Jordan. Turns out Kapoch beat Winchester, which makes Doubt's Buchholz even way better. So that gives Doubt a lot of chances again. So Doubt just has, Doubt just has to win his last two matches and most likely Doubt will be through. Leary beat 2-0 MBL. I think that's quite expected. And then the last match was my own, Hera against Hera. Took a 2-1 win. Hello, hello, Dugao. <laughs> uh, we, we managed to beat Hera 2-1. Somewhat happy with the first game. It was quite quick. Bulgarians against Aztecs on Haboob. Second match, both happy and unhappy in many ways. I think I, my execution was poor. Macro was poor. But the strategy was good, I think. And the moves I made in general was good. Except one bad fight. But my feudal age macro, and I was housed for a long time in late feudal age. And yeah, certain parts of that I'm not happy with. But again, that was a really good defense from Hera, so I can't complain. Then we had the last game, which was the Bohemians pick, which I don't think many people expected. But um, yeah, obviously I tried it in training, so we knew there was some merit to it. But still, we're not sure exactly where they are compared to the other top saves, like Ethiopians, obviously. Um, but my, my approach and strategy there worked out. Something I actually figured out during the, the same day how I wanted to play it, and yeah, it worked out. So, but again, that game as well. I'm not happy with my my play in terms of my macro and general execution. I had like five villagers stuck. Like at some point in the game, you will see the casters show me having like five villas around the wall and stone, and people think I'm going to stone. No, it was just my gather point, meaning I had like five villagers idle at my where I sent one villager, in theory, to wall. So things like that, not happy with that. Um, also floating a lot of wood and whatnot. But obviously, in the end, I won. I'm very happy with the result. But I'm not going to lie, I was actually low-key pissed off yesterday about how I... about just not doing those things better. So at least I think that's good. There's room for improvement still, for sure. So today we have Leary. It's going to be a tough one. He's obviously the one who has won the most Red Bulls so far. I'll try to try my best, obviously. I think I have a good chance of winning, but I can go either way. See if we want to have a quick thought about any other matchups. You can see I have the matchups on the screen. So looking at them, we have Doubt against Nico. Doubt is up 1 0. Obviously, cheering for Doubt and BL Slam. It will be a really important match for both of them. Whoever loses might have a tough time, um, tough time advancing because they both now have played against Barls, but Slam lost to Winchester. Lear, MBL lost to Lear, so. MBL at the moment has a little bit of a better Buchholz. Slam kind of has to win. MBL might still have a chance if he loses. Dogao Barls, I think both of them are out. I think the Buchholz will just be too weak. Actually, Dogao's Buchholz, he's lost to me and Taro. If me and Taro keep performing well, his Buchholz won't be too bad if he beats Barls, so maybe there's a chance. I don't know exactly how the math is there. Viles Taro, obviously cheering for Taro. But Viles beating Nikov yesterday. Definitely a strong player. He has beaten me before as well, so no question there. Hera Winchester should be a banger. I think if... I mean, Hera still has a great bullhorse, right? But if Hera loses to Winchester, he's going to be sweating on, on the in the fourth round. But yeah, Hera should be the favorite there. But that goes for Winchester as well. Winchester lost to Kapach. If he loses to Hera now, he's 1-2, and he has to win on, on the final day, where he could face players like Doubt, Slam, MBL. You know, it's going to be a real tough player. So round four... It's going to be crazy no matter what. Kapoch Jordan. Jordan is in great shape. I think he's preparing really well mentally and physically, you can say. So I think I think Jordan is looking really good and I, th I think he will beat Kapoch as well. And then yeah, hoping hoping I can win as well so we can have a Viper against Jordan in, in the tomorrow stage. 
That will be a lot of fun. What else is there to say? It's quiet here right now. Normally people are always training here, but everyone is upstairs in the play lounge watching the games. The weather right now is quite rainy. It's a bit cooler, which is nice. It won't be too much of a sauna inside, hopefully. And yeah, hope you guys are enjoying the uh, tournament so far. It's, it's a lot of fun to be a part of here. And uh, yeah, can't wait for the rest of the days. I will probably be back reporting tomorrow. So I hope you guys enjoy these. If you do, leave a like, let me know. And if you have any questions, I'll try to read chat and maybe I'll address some of them. Vlogging Viper out. See ya.